All right, finally getting up on the zipline anchors. Oh my gosh, all right, it's been a minute. Now let's see, seven, what am I missing for some more? So that's 16. Uh, metal ingots. <laughs> hey, there we go. All right, all right. We got this, we got this. Weapons, ammo, I want to see. Okay, eight more, so that'll put us at 24. That's a pretty good amount. All right. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Soling the Ark. I'm Flinger Fu, and today, well, today I kind of wanted to go into the Glowtail Cave. Uh, we got Nightmare in the last episode, and uh, I mean, I asked in the comments what would be uh, the best uh, name. We, I got all sorts of cool names, lots of cool names, but I went with Nightmare because, frankly, not because she looks like a nightmare, because she was an absolute nightmare to tame. I mean, she was just horrible. <laughs> I mean, she got all over the place. It was bad. There was lots of crying, maybe some screaming, maybe some, uh, you know, it's, uh, something may have slipped out a little bit here or there. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. 50, 45, 40, okay. All right, uh, we do need to go get a trike today. Uh, well, actually, I mean, we've got Molly, and Molly is really, really good. Um, but, oh, hold on. Oh, 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 hey, let me have that. All right, um, Molly is uh, very, very good. I just need to level him up for the berry gathering. It's just the only problem that I'm having is that there's so much wood. I, I have no place to carry it. I need to start looking into actually getting a base area place going at... Oh, that's even the wrong one. Oh, man. How dare you, good sir, putting the narco berries in that one. That's not where they go. The narcotics go on the right. The uh, cementing paste goes on the left. Oh, my gosh. All right. Uh, what was I missing here? I have no idea. I was doing something. Stone arrows. <laughs> That's what we're missing. Only three? Really? I already blew through all that fiber? Oh, dang. Hey, well, here, give me back those arrows. I will take 27 of them. That will be fine. And I will stick my stone inside my smithy and you will like it. Thank you. All right, so <laughs> what I wanted to do today, I was thinking about, I mean, we take Snarf over to the uh, um, the Glowtail Cave over there. I want to go take a look. Also, I want to look around for some base areas. I mean, I've looked around for a few. Um, there is a couple really, really nice ones right in my immediate vicinity. And either that or we can move over to the island or the, uh, um, the lake. Here, let me show you. All right, hold on. All right, uh, so, I mean, we could move over, I mean, up here is the lake, and the lake is a really good spot, and I love the lighting up there. Oh, man, the lighting up there is so good. Really dig it. Uh, yeah, have I said just how much I enjoy it yet? I mean, I kind of like it. I mean, it, it's all right. Let's just leave it at that. It's all right. <laughs> so, and also, there's this lake over here, which is another good one, which leads into the Glowtail Cave, which kind of is right over back inside of here. And the Glowtail Cave is a really good spot as well. And well, just right up there on that little pride rock area, you can build with uh, cliff platforms all around it, make it look really good. The hard part is making it look really good. That's the hardest part, is making it look good. Um, on my last base that I had, I actually built... Uh, let's see, there's a waterfall that comes down right over here. And then I ended up building on the Genesis 1 ocean platforms on top of that, which turned out to be pretty good. It's just the uh, the lighting down there was atrocious. I was forever fighting on that. And then up here, I actually built on top of this waterfall. So if we build here and we build here and I've actually built on top of here, then that leaves all the rest of this available for building and it'll all be fresh and new and amazing. Actually, I was thinking about building on uh, this rock over here and just building in a different way because traditionally, I've just built on the top of that rock over there. Here, let's go take a look with Snarf. All right, so what all do we have going? We've got everything going, right? Right? Yeah, you good? Um, Derpy? Oh, dude. You're in the wall, man. I can't pick you up when you're in the wall, dude. All right, so <laughs> let's get... Uh, uh, one last thing. Do you have any flint? We have 19 flint. That's... That dog just won't hunt months. I mean, quite literally. Uh, let's see. Um... Weapons. Ammo. Thing. 
Thank you. Okay, so let's go like this. Let's just grab Snar. Actually, you know what? We could probably grab a. Oh, whoa. A Snar's got some bits. All right, give me a sec. I need to arrange this. All right, also, another thing that we need to do we need to get a whole bunch of crystal. Which apparently we're not doing. Uh. <laughs> Come on, let's get Crystal. Trying. There we go. All right, that'll be fine. Get rid of this stone. We don't need that stuff. 72 Crystal. That'll do, apparently. Let's get over here inside of here. All right, um, let's see. Oh, I don't need 37 of those. Apparently, I got too much Crystal. I'm going to go with 20 of these. Just because. Alright, now each one makes five, which means that this 20 that we're crafting right now, that's probably all we're ever going to need on these things. But these things are so handy to have on hand, and then also these things right here, you can even dye them. Um, if we take and we make uh, dyes, we just drag it on it, the entire... The entire stack just gets colored. So it takes one color, and then you can take one of the dyed ones, drag it onto another stack, and then, so one color makes just thousands of them uh, green. It's pretty cool. And I say green because, I mean, come on, what other color is there? All right? I mean, I guess there's black and silver, but jeez. All right, so let's get over here. Uh, let's go see what all we can see. Now, every time I come out here, things always change. It's like... Oh, you're not new. Actually, you've been here for a bit. Or you're actually no, you are new because before it was you were like level forty or something like that. Now you're level five, dude. You went down in. Oh man, don't do that. Go the opposite way. All right, so uh, let's pop over here. I want to go take a look over at the fertile lake. Oh, I I remember what I was gonna do before I set out. I was going to set these guys up with saddles to where they take less damage. All right, come on, guys. Back over here. Oh, hello. How are you? You're, you're doing level 90. Okay, all right, all right. All right, so two Ravager saddles, and you get a saddle, and you get a saddle, and don't say I never gave you anything pretty. All right, there you go. Oh, hey, look. So, yeah, that stuff is gold right there. Thank you, Mr. Tech Raptor. Woo! All right, uh, but yeah, I'm totally running out of space in... Oh, no, 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 I can't. You go inside this one. I mean, you would think I actually have more space than I do because I am constantly burning through everything. I'm totally forgetting where everything goes and all sorts of stuff. There we go. You would think I actually have more room, but no, no, I've only got a couple different containers that I keep uh, screwing up on. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Let's keep that constantly going. You know, I'm just going to grab all the rest of this fungal wood and just throw it in there anyway. Because we, we're going to need it burnt anyway. And that's a tail right in front of my face. There we go. All right, so now we've got all that wood that will slowly, slowly burn. But it's going to be burning. And I'm just going to leave that thing running at all times. Thank you very much, Molly. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's grab you. And now we can finally, finally, finally start heading over to... Where did my light go? Okay, well, that'll work. All right, so this right here, this is the mushroom rock type area, um, or pride rock, or however you want to look at it. It's the lone rock in the very center of the lake, and it's really pretty. This is a great spot. The lighting is amazing. I'm digging it. Um, honestly, every time I built on this, I always try building on the top, and I, I'm, I'm looking at it differently this time. If I do try building here, and I emphasize... Oh, hello, there's a 150 around me. Hello. Right, uh, I, I think if I do try building, it's probably a fish. I'm gonna try my bet. If I do try building on it, it's going to be as sort of a platform wraparound type effect, which could be cool. All right, so uh, is my health down low? 
need to make sure my health is down, or not my health, my food is down low. Because, that's stone, I don't want stone. I was waiting for this earthquake to uh, wear out, and then I, I want to get in there and start getting some uh, seeds from this plant. Which involves our shoulder pet, and uh, a little bit of patience. Actually, a lot of patience. Yes. Alright, so waiting on the artifact. Oh, hello. Here you or 138 male tech parasaur. Okay. But yeah, I don't want to be bouncing around here while I do this because it's like it requires some surgical precision here. Let me show you what I mean. You have to duck down and then you have to get kind of close. And I'm 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 gonna get hit. You know. Yep, see right there. You know what? Fine, I'm just getting rid of it. Get out of here! Yeah, all right, so we got rid of that. Now I'm gonna be dying here really quick. And uh, uh, don't worry, I'm just blasting pu um, poop all over the place. It's fine, this is absolutely normal. Eat a little food, heal up a little bit. And the effect is over, and now we're, uh, yeah. That's why you wanna eat a little bit of food. Or have a little bit of room for food. I'll make sure that... Okay, there's another one right there. But now, we get close, and then as you get close... Alright, you turn on your shoulder pet, and then you pretty much just wait here. And then your shoulder pet kind of feeds the, uh, um, uh, the plant, and you get, like, some sort of weird symbiotic relationship here going on, and then all of a sudden, it will eventually... Uh, just poop out a seed, and then you pick up the seed, and that is shoulder pet kibble. Here, let me show you. All right, come on, come on, everybody's watching. Pop, I'm poop out a seed. All right, you know you wanna. Get up, drop all these while we're waiting. I need to make sure that while I'm recuperating, I don't hit another one of those mushrooms. Oh, there's a bee hive right there. Okay. Come on, dude. There we go. Now it's gonna it's gonna poop out a seed here. Watch. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Once plant species Z seed. These things are absolutely amazing for shoulder pet I'm um, kibble on this map. Twenty-four. Okay. There's a spino somewhere back there, I think. Eating something. No, that's a sarco. Dude, if you want to be a sarco, just be a sarco, man. Quit trying to act like spino. All right, I'm going to be here grabbing a whole bunch of these. It's going to take me a bit, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. And there's two. And there's three. Thank you. And four. And 15. All right, so we've got 15 of these things. I think we'll be good. All right, let's uh, go uh, over here, grab a bunch of this stuff. Head over to this cave over here. But yeah, what I was thinking about doing for this is instead of... Hold on. Instead of, uh, you know, building right up the top, actually just build like one here and then one over on the other side. Just kind of wrap it around. I think that could be kind of cool. I don't know, but you always, whenever you come on cliff platform, whenever you uh, build up on cliff platforms, it always kind of cuts out the amount of real estate that you have. I mean, you, it appears that you've got a lot because it's a big circle, but half the circle is shoved inside the big giant rock. All right, let's get over here. This is the cave. Oh, hello. That's so pearls. I, I will be back for you. I didn't realize that is silica pearl right there. I went all the way over to the river last time. All right, so this cave right here is pretty dang cool. This is one of the uh, end caves. Let's, see, let's get this out down inside of here. There we go. All right, now we have to go through this, which is the reason why cryopods were invented in the first place. If anybody tells you otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> that's wrong. It's for this cave, I swear. No, that's really not true. But hey. 
it makes this cave. You used to have to, uh, just like the cave of the strong on the island, you used to have to breed things to just squeeze them in. You no longer have to do that. Get up inside of here. Go. Things really help illuminate you. I mean, torches are good. Glow sticks are absolutely amazing. There we go. Not sure I dig the red light, though. It needs to be green. All right. So, let's see. So, as we get closer... Now, here. Let me tell you a tale of a raptor. Because, at one point in time... Not... Oh, there's a max level dude around here. At one point in time, raptors didn't pounce. And then, all of a sudden, Aberration came out, and then they were like, you know what would be fun? If we made all the raptors terrifying, and we made them pounce you off your mount. That's a 145 car note. And then, they were like, you know what would be even better? If, and not just the aberrant ones, we would make all of the raptors pounce. And they were like, oh, okay, all right, so all the raptors are going to be able to pounce you now. And then, they put that on the regular servers, and then everybody was like, no, no, ow, the raptors pounce, they suck. So then they removed it, right? And then, and they also created some bugs and all sorts of stuff, but we won't get into that. We'll just get into, you know, yeah. All right, let me see. Let's, uh, do down here. Um, all the raptors were pouncing, and there was much rejoicing. Everybody loved it, and it was just amazing. It was like the best thing ever. Actually, everybody hated it. Just saying. All right, so... Um, then we had raptors on the island, raptors on extinction, raptors on everybody pouncing. It was amazing. Actually, no, I think this came out with extinction, to be fair. Um, the, the whole pouncing thing, because with the, uh, corrupted raptors. And then they, uh, decided, okay, this is just a bit too, uh, a bit too much of a pain in the butt. So they removed it. Except for when they removed it, they only removed it from the regular raptor. They didn't remove it from the aberrant raptor or the corrupted raptor. So now all of those can still pounce, and it's still annoying, and it's still frustrating. But at least the, you know, original raptors don't pounce, right? <laughs> so there's that going on. I mean, come on. I mean, positives here. Uh, which is another reason why I hate raptors. Just say it. Especially aberrant raptors. So, when aberrant raptors get in your face, uh, you really don't have much option other than to just, uh, knuckle under and die. Or, uh, punch a bit to get them out of there. Okay. Get this. We need to clear this, uh, cave entrance. See if we can get this cleared. Okay, so apparently by uh, shooting a Carno, it jumps off the edge. Now, I've already come in here. I killed an Arthoplura, but one of them got pushed off the edge. And it sounds like he's still aggroed him. There he goes. Oh, no, no! Okay, so apparently we have to go uh, rescue our Arthoplura now. Or not our Arthoplura, our Ravager. You know, I probably should have made some... Uh... Climbing picks. Huh. Alright. I'm on, Snaps! I 
carry you. This is the car note. Where did you go off to? Down below, aren't you? I'm fine with this. Oh, no, no. There you are. Come on, dude. I didn't realize you were in the wall. I thought you jumped off the edge. Oh. I mean, you would have been a nice one. But... Oh, hey. XP. Thank you. And now this place is kind of dangerous. Actually, you know what? We have the power of climbing. Uh... Hold on. You wait right there, Snaps. All right, I'm going to see if I can locate... There's scraps. All right, so if we were to go like this, I mean, we're not going to need trank arrows for rain. So. You're not following me up, dude. Alright. Hopefully there's nothing bad down here. Well, it looks like we might be clear. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Now we got all of them. All right, so I'm going to leave these guys here. Uh, put, leave them on neutral. Now let's head over here this way. I want to go see if we can go find ourselves a glow tail. Hotels are usually pretty common in here. Especially along this. Hard part is really just finding them. Wrong button. gonna knock me off when I go buy it. Alright, there we go. Uh-oh. This could be bad. Oh, whoo! Alright, so that happened. Sucky crab! All right. Hello. Back up. Knock that guy off into the bit. All right, you're in the drink, dude. Enjoy. So what that's doing is it's kind of bugging out a bit. Oh, you're a car now. All right, into the drink.
be something over there. Is that there's a glow tail. Do you see other things though? This is why we made these. Oh yeah, that is a lot of bad stuff. There's two glow tails. All right, let's see. Let me hit everything. All we need to do is make him fall off into the edge. Be it raptors. Be it Arthur Plur. Well, hello. Later, dude. Thing over in that? Yes. Raptors will follow you on zip lines and knock your butt off. No, oh, get rid of that. Thank you. Right, those ra ravagers not follow. Oh, whew. All right. All right. I think those ravagers made it into the... There we go. Okay. Now, what's going on here is that it's on the ground. It's just connected to the ground, so... There we go. Just have to kind of jump out far enough. All right, there we go. Let's get over here. What level are you? Your dead raptor. Level 100. Okay. Oh. Hey, dude. Hey, 150! All right. I didn't even see you. Oh, you're just walking around. Okay. Is there any more? One over here. 50. And Meganura. All right, let's tame this 150 here really quick. Also, I want to take a look at... That's just a bunch of nasty stuff down there. I mean, that is just the stuff of nightmares. You fall in that pit, you are dead. Well, not really. Yet you do have a fighting chance. Where are you going? You get aggro bombed by one of these guys? I'm moving. There you go. All right, but yeah, uh, this stuff is these guys' kibble, so it's pretty good. Hello. You look pretty. Look at you. And normally glow tails just will not move until the, if something hits them. So apparently this guy got hit. There we go. All right. So now we've got... Um... Hmm... I'll probably change his name because I'm full of bad names apparently on Aberration. So, all right, let's see. Uh, thank you. You inside of here. Go. All right. This looks good. All right, let's see. And of course. There we go. Oh, wow. This guy's pretty, too. That's a good-looking dude. All right. Wait. Were you male or female? I don't remember. Uh, you were one of those two. I'm going to tame this other level 100 one just because. For you. There we go. This one right here looks pretty good, too. Just don't jump off that cliff when I feed you. The last one, please. That's a pretty good picture. I like that one too. And there we go. Don't jump. All right, and I will figure out a name for you when we get back. 
I'm gonna go look a little bit deeper, but I don't think we need to go any deeper. I just wanted to go in here for glow tails and then uh, go see if we can go uh, put down. You know what? Let's. Let me turn that off. That is annoying. All right. Sometimes there's raptors in here, which is just bad. Not very often, but sometimes. Now let's go see. Then you get to places like this, where it's just super pretty. I mean, I wish I could just build a base right there. Despite the electric eels. That's fine, right? So far, it's relatively peaceful. It looks like most everything's been knocked off the edge. That's fine. All right, and then we can clear up the at those guys there. Oh, Meganura, I'm kind of surprised you didn't uh, come eat that, dude. All right. But then you get to the artifact, and you're like, hey, we have artifact, and it's green. Okay, so apparently we're going to have to get... Safe to jump off. There we go. All right, let's work our way back, and it's just straight way back this way. But also, if you go in deeper, there is loot and uh, more glow tails in there. Kind of cool. All right. Kind of curious what this level 150 is at the entrance. I thought, I, as soon as I came in, it said level one. Oh, are you another 150 right there? Oh no! Ah, see, ah, okay, all right, so. When you have your uh, plant seeds, you don't... You're 55, okay. When you have your plant seeds in the 10 slot, make sure that you don't try to uh, go take a look at the level of everything and then accidentally eat half of your seeds. This place is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So... I don't know what he's looking at. Oh, he's following what I'm looking at. Down. That's weird. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Um, actually, it'd just be easier if I just uh, cryopod you guys. Do I have enough cryopods for that? I do. Let's get you guys cryopod in. Let's get out of here. All right, successful journey so far. Okay, so apparently caving is very profitable. Then again, I'm pretty sure most everybody already knows. All right, let's get you inside here and let's get through the little bits. All right. All right, now let's get our butt back to base. Uh, now, I actually have my favorite shoulder pet now for aberration. I mean, their feather lights are good. The goats are cute. Um, but these guys right here, I just love the lizards. The lizards that sit on your shoulder are absolutely adorable. I mean, come on, look at this. Oh, look, he's got a permanent smile. I mean, that is just super cute, right? And, uh, yeah, um, all of them have different bonuses. Some of them have higher charge capacity. Some of them have others. Uh, it appears to me that the lizards generally have the stats that I prefer. Which are the glow tails. Okay, you're male, which, and we also got a female. Right, so you got a charge capacity of that. Uh, let me take a look at the female stats right there. It actually breed you. Okay. You've got 290 charge. Oh, hey, you already laid us an A eggs. All right, let's see. Thank you. Take off, Dodo. Nobody wants you around here, right? All right, let's see. So you've got 290, 574, 290. The, uh, let's see. 992-372. Okay, so you are better in every way. So if we could actually get your stats onto uh, imprinted onto one of these guys, that would be kind of cool, but I'm not even sure I want to... Hello! I'm not even sure I want to stress it right now. But yeah, these guys are amazing. I love these dudes. Uh, much better than bulb dogs. I mean, I like bulb dogs too. I mean, all of the shoulder pets in Aberration are absolutely adorable. Right, but I do think 
that is probably going to do it for the episode. Uh, I was ex I was planning on doing a uh, getting at least one uh, clip platform going, but the cave just took a long time. And besides, I love that cave. That cave is so much fun. It's so dangerous. <laughs> that case on aberration just they they freak me out it's awesome in a good way all right so hey i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you click that like button i really appreciate it if you're new around here subscribe and until next time this is flagger foo and take it easy everybody